Hi Leo, welcome to With Love Tarot. I'm back with your love check-in tarot reading for February of 2020. How is everybody doing out there? I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. So I'm going to be looking at whoever is most on your mind, whether you're with this person or not. This could be an ex or somebody you've been dealing with for a while or somebody from your past. I'm just taking the messages that the tarot most gives me and you can consider this a snapshot for what's currently going on with your person. So I'm going to be looking at mutual energies between you and your person their actions and feelings toward you and then future energies for the rest of February going into March. Are you ready? Okay guys, so starting out we have the King of Cups and the Lovers for Mutual Energies and this is really, really nice. So regardless of what is happening and whether you're with your person or not, there is love in this union, okay? Now some of you could be dealing with a water sign or with somebody with water in their chart, but this is about being emotionally available. All right and ready to love so this could be your energy or more on your person's part but whatever this is there is a strong connection between the both of you guys look at this here so some of you could also be dealing with a soulmate or somebody that you feel like is your soulmate at the very least somebody that you feel very connected to guys now for some of you out there this person could be at a distance or you feel like they're at a distance. So whether because you are not with them or there was a break or a breakup in this connection, as you can see, this person is reaching for the other. So it's a really powerful energy, whatever this is. What's coming through though, is that both of you feel connected to each other, right? And there's still love here, as I was picking up in the beginning of your reading. So I will clarify that in just a few moments. Now, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini as well. Now, for your person's actions toward you, we have the sun and the six of pentacles. So regardless of what's going on here, your person has some really nice intentions toward you, okay? And the immediate message I got is that some of them could be trying to reunite with you, whether you realize it or not, or maybe you already had some type of message or communication come through, okay? And with the Sun card, this is you guys. So your person definitely wants to strengthen this union or perhaps they're trying to do that and they want to also rebalance something out with you. So if there was an imbalance in this union, okay, or something that caused a breakup, your person could be reevaluating and wanting to come together and fix it or work on the issues even, okay? And with the sun too, the feeling I'm getting here is that not all of you, but for some of you out there, your person it has pure intentions toward you. If they weren't the best in the past, perhaps they have realized that and are trying to work on something. And that's really the strong message coming through here. Now, you could be dealing with a fellow Leo, and I'm also seeing an earth sign or with somebody with earth in their chart here, or they could just have these placements somewhere in their birth chart. Now, if you're with your person, what this is actually telling me too is that especially with the sun card here, they just want to celebrate with you. They want to have fun with you. It's really that kind of energy or even just bring the union to a more successful, balanced state. And for their feelings, guys, we have the Prince of Pentacles so we, and the Nine of Pentacles. So we have more Pentacles here. This is earth energy. I like to see this because this is stable energy here. All right. And so if you're not dealing with an earth sign, again, your person 
like I was picking up here, has stable emotions for you. So there's love here, but at the same time, it's tempered by feelings that are here to stay, if that makes sense, right? So with the Prince of Pentacles, this is also a slower moving energy though too. So if there hasn't been communication with your person, what this says is that many of you are going to get it, but they could be taking a while to come around, all right? This could be even slow as molasses. And the reason is, is because this prince or knight takes their time thinking about things and what they have to offer you or their feelings for you are stable, right? They're here to stay. This is not somebody coming in quickly like the knight of swords or the knight of wands even, right? They have thought a lot about this and maybe even some of them want to offer you something, okay? Whether that's a commitment of some sort or bringing this relationship to the next level or protection, it's something of value, okay? Now, with the Nine of Pentacles, guys, this is a really beautiful card, all right? So this could be also, too, about them wanting to have a home life with you or build something of stability with you are all the messages coming through here, okay? Nine of Pentacles is one of the best cards you can get indicating some type of success and also, like I said, could be indicating happy home life even, now, if you're not with your person, what this is indicating to me that this could simply mean that your person is single around this time period, right? And they want to come back around and offer you something and maybe they're even feeling a little bit isolated around this time period, right? Because usually when asking if somebody is single or dating and you see the Nine of Pentacles, this is a card telling me that your person is single. So if they're not with you, I'm not seeing that they're currently dating. That's just for a small percentage of you out there. Whatever this is, this is a real stable and beautiful energy here. Perhaps too, after a period of you guys not being together or period of separation, your person goes within and then is ready to come around and communicate with you and give you some type of an offer. For future energies, guys, really nice. We have the Three of Cups starting. So what this tells me is that for some of you out there, there's going to be a reunion or a reconciliation of some sort, okay? This is celebrations. This is getting together with your person. This is also my pleasure card. So remember how I was describing the sun card? This is actually full circle. This is some of the same messages coming through for your future energies that if you're with your person, this is coming together, definitely celebrating, having fun with them. You could even be attending parties. Maybe some of you have a reunion or you could also be coming up on a milestone with your person. Maybe even an anniversary is what's coming through here. And if you're not with them, again, this is a reunion of some sort or at the very least opening the lines of communication. Now, I also say that because with the Prince of Swords, now this is the second Prince we have present here, which is the equivalent of knights. And what this tells me is that there's going to be some type of communication coming forward. So if you haven't been speaking to your person, some of you are going to get a message, right? And it could be your person wanting to come forward and clear the air, or this could be even mutual energy. Both you guys come together and speak to each other, or at the very least, open the lines of communication here. So I'm going to clarify everything here to get a little bit more specific. Okay guys, so clarifying your mutual energies, we have the Eight of Swords here. So what this tells me is that there's also some type of fear and apprehension that's currently going on here. Now, this could be because there's a breakup currently going on or a rift or some type of break in communication and you, probably both of you guys are feeling 
a little bit apprehensive, definitely anxious, right? It's almost like you guys are waiting for the other person to reach out. That's the message that's coming through here. Now, somebody could have reached out. Your person could have actually sent you a message and maybe you weren't having it or maybe you still needed time to think about it. It's that kind of energy or vice versa. Maybe you reached out and your person really didn't reciprocate, at least for the time being, and there's kind of a stalemate, right? Not necessarily so, but the energy I'm getting here is it's stuck. So there's definitely love. This is definitely a significant connection, especially with the lovers here. But right now, maybe there's really no forward movement currently going on, okay? And I also say that too because I took another card on that and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So there is definitely a waiting energy here. So both of you guys are kind of in limbo even. If somebody is not reaching out or you kind of both took a seat, so to speak, you know, you took a back seat here because you're waiting on some type of communication to come through here. Both of you guys, it's almost like you're waiting on each other and both of you feel like you put a lot of hard work into this union and you're waiting for some type of results or communication to come through here. Okay. Now, your person's actions toward you, I see that something is going to move here for some of you out there because again, when I was describing the sun with the six of pentacles and I had originally said that for some of you out there, your person wants to restore some type of balance into this union. Well, look what we have here. We have the ace of pentacles. So wow, guys, yes. Your person, guys, wants a new beginning or they're actively contemplating this. Some of you could have even received communication by the time you watch this reading, but they want to offer you some type of stability. Now, these are their actions toward you. So perhaps they're taking steps to actively do this, right? Ace of Pentacles is also a new beginning of some sort. So they want a new beginning with you, or if you're actively with your person, they want to give you an offer of commitment. Now, whether this is taking the relationship to the next level, a ring, some type of stability, it's really powerful energy here. And you could be dealing with an earth sign as I had originally stated. There's a lot of pentacles present here. And for their feelings for you, we have the six of swords and the immediate feeling I got here, guys, two messages coming through. I'm getting two different storylines, so please take what resonates here. These are very specific messages. Is that for some of you out there, your person actually is feeling distant from you, especially with the Nine of Pentacles here. And as I said, this could indicate that somebody is single, okay? Your person could be feeling at a distance from you. You could also be in a long-distance relationship, so this could be literal distance, but if it's not, this could just simply mean that there hasn't been communication or your person is feeling lonely even, okay, is the message coming through here. Also, they feel like they want to move this connection to calmer waters and leave some type of rockiness and drama in the past, all right? Now, going into the second storyline, if there isn't some type of distance here, they simply want to move the connection forward, okay? I asked for a second card on this and the chariot appeared. And as I was shuffling, the six of wands also popped out and these two cards together, the six of wands with the chariot are my two cards of success. So the major message coming through here is that they feel like they want to bring this union to a successful state. Whether that means reconnecting with you and leaving some type of drama in the past, or if you're with your person, this simply means moving the connection forward to the next level. Okay, those, those are the two strong messages coming through here, right? And there's movement here, right? You can see there's movement in both of these cards. So they want to move something forward. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer as well. And for future energies, guys, clarifying everything, we have judgment. And what this tells me, guys, especially with the Three of Cups, 
not all of you, but some of you out there are going to have a reconciliation or reunion with your person, guys. These are my top two cards indicating a second chance, a do-over, getting together with your person. So really, really beautiful energy. If some of you are seeking a reunion or a reconnection or at the very least opening the lines of communication with your person, some of you are going to get it. So very nice. Now, if you're with your person or you're not really seeking a reconciliation, what this could also mean is that you just simply move forward with your person and both of you guys come into this union or proceed forward with a clean slate. You both leave some type of baggage again with the rockiness in the past and you move forward, okay? This is about both of you entering into this union and kind of not looking back. You make the decision to have a do-over or just kind of move it forward with a clean slate. And again, this could be taking the connection to the next level or even a, an epiphany that comes through here. All right. And again, some of you could be getting some type of communication. Judgment can also indicate a literal phone call or a text message that comes through. So really nice. Leo, I wish you a beautiful February. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time with love.